Hey guys, it's Gamer here uh, with some updated information on WinU Pro. Uh, there's been an update to it. Version 2.1 is out, and it also has a installer now that will help you. It'll download everything you need to install the Xbox drivers, the application, and the SCP drivers, and it's all automated and a bit easier to set up now. The other thing, and the really important thing right now, is there's a hotfix for Windows 8 and Windows 10 that will allow you to use the Microsoft Bluetooth stack with this program, so you don't have to worry about using the Toshiba stack if you were having problems with it in the past. Uh, and I was going to walk through setting it up. I've tested it on my computer here and it works. Uh, it's still not as convenient as the to using the Toshiba software because with the blue Microsoft stack you have to actually add and remove the device, the controller every time you want to use it and get done using it. But I mean if you couldn't get the Toshiba stack working then this is better than nothing. So first thing you need to do is download this hotfix, which I have already done. And when you open it up, there's fix one, fix two, and a README. According to the README, you should try fix one first. And if that's still not working, try fix two. Uh, for me, fix one worked. I would guess it's probably going to work for most people. And it will allow the controller to actually show up in the software. So, you need to open up the WinU soft folder and then open up Fix One and just copy this nincontroller.dll over, which I've already done. I'm just going to do it again. Now, I made a backup of the original version because I will be switching back to the Toshiba stack. So I wanted to make sure I didn't lose the original ELL. But once you have that copied over, open up your Microsoft Bluetooth add device, hit the sync button on your controller, select it, hit pair. And on here, don't put anything in for the passcode. Just hit next. Now, up until right now, every time I did that, it would just sit there and hang on that screen. If it does that to you, just hit cancel, and it will go ahead and connect. And then you can close that out. Open up the Windows Soft program, and there's your controller. It'll connect, and it works properly, and I will demonstrate that with Project Spark. Just let it load up here. The only thing is, when you get done, you need to go back in your devices and actually remove it in order to disconnect it. Otherwise, you're going to have to end up having to remove it anyway because if you just reboot the computer or whatever, you won't be able to reconnect the controller until you remove it and re add it. But that's it for that. Pretty simple. Just replace this one file. And if that does, if fix one doesn't work for some reason, it says try fix two. But that should be your second option.
and pretty simple and I was going to also try a little experiment I took the fix one file and copied it over here into the Wii U Pro Controller folder and renamed it to the Wii U Pro Lib .dll just to see if it would work. I don't expect it to. I don't know that it will. But I figured it was worth a try to resolve this uh, Toshiba issue for everybody. Okay, see, now it's hanging. It's wanting to hang here again, so just hit cancel. And see, it goes ahead and, and connects anyway. So now, <clears throat> we'll see if this will work. Uh, nope. It will not work. Which I kind of suspected. We'll hit continue and just see what happens. Yeah, it's not even going to come up at all. But just out of curiosity. Yeah, it won't work with the Microsoft stack at all. So, for those of you using that want to use WinU Pro to make your, uh, or WinU Soft to have your controller show up as a Xbox 360 controller, and you were having problems with the Toshiba stack, now you can use the Microsoft stack, as long as you're on Windows 8 or 10. And that's all I had for this update. I just wanted to share this with everybody. And I will provide more updates as they become available. If this video was helpful, please leave a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. I will do a video on WinU Pro as soon as it gets out of beta. And if there are any other things you would like to see me do a video on, please leave a comment in the comment below, and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys.